Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Diabetes World. I just wanted to interrupt here for a sec to tell you, first of all, any treatment or anything we discuss on this channel, check with your diabetic doctor, your primary doctor, your diabetic nurse before starting any treatment. I would say that to anyone, not just diabetics. Be safe. Have a great day. Hey, morning. Welcome to Mike's Diabetes World. Yes, it's early and I'm just sort of still getting slow to get started. But today I want to talk to you about other ailments. Now, growing up, I used to have headaches quite a bit. And I can remember coming home from school and, you know, just ha having something there. And back then, these little things helped. Glasses. Oops, glasses. Now they're cheaters, but... My glasses I wore... 24 hours a day. I would fall asleep with my glasses to wake up and get going. And, you know, that's a big thing diabetics need to be taken care of, is your eyes. And hopefully, if you need it, an eye specialist. Now, for myself, that cleared up most of my headaches. I do get occasionally... You know, back here, the um, tension. I don't know what tension. I don't have much tension. But, you know, if I do the same things, if I'm reading through my readers for a long time, yeah, it kind of builds up. I know yesterday's in my chair, and I guess it was kind of was hunched over. I've got to learn how to sit up in the chair. Yeah, go back to school. But the biggest thing I want to talk to you started, oh, I guess, 88, 89, was when I had a severe low. And I'm talking, you know, ones that I sort of need help with. I started to develop a headache and the headache was pounding and uh, the common thing that happens with headaches or migraines I would vomit now my hand would go numb and then things really started to get cloudy and I knew once my hand 
was done. I was gone for at least eight hours. The last time I had one was, oh, it was in the 2000s. And I was supposed to go downtown, or downtown the west side of Broadway to meet my dad for dinner or lunch or whatever he calls it dinner. And I went there and on the sky train my hand went tingling and I said oh no I ate dinner or lunch what midday meal and I got ready to head home and you know I got on the sky train got where was I I think I was Royal Oak and I just threw up all over my train. I was on the sky train. And then, you know what? All of a sudden things were a lot better and I got out of there and headed home put a wash on and then you know it started to come back not the tingling just up here I laid down and I pretty well just slept and for the rest of the day my health care workers came and you know they got me water and everything because I was just lying in bed and for the eight hour period I was zonked. Now for me a migraine happens when my blood sugars drop too quickly. So I think there's always a way that your body tries to recuperate after a low. And I think a lot of times there's so much going on with the brain and the sugar and it causes me the migraine. And go, oh, oh. And the next day, and I think I've mentioned this in a video before, you know, it was all kind of, oh, I have to get up. So you get up and you find you have to think the thing. But I think, good it, huh? I think what happens is it's your mind's just cloudy. And your mind's sort of cloudy next day. You come home, you go to bed, and the next day you're fine. You wake up, hey, you're sharp as a tack again. This is my way of, you know, dealing with the aftermaths of a low. You know, some people just are just exhausted. Now, I don't know if I grew out of that or my mind just got used to me being low a lot, but I don't get the migraines anymore. Knock on wood, because the migraines are the worst. You know, laying in bed and having to get up to vomit all night is not fun. So what do you, what sort of things drive you? Like after a low, when you're trying to get your blood sugars back up, what, how do you respond? Are you a quick one? You know, oh, well, yes. And that, I find, usually goes with youngsters. Now I've gone from the headaches, oh, to where after a severe low, I just really want to sleep. I don't want to get up. I don't want to do anything. And I think that's more common. I don't think many people, some people can have a headache, but it 
doesn't progress into a migraine. So, I kind of use my pump now. Now, my pump will tell me, am I dropping quickly? And at that point, I say, hey, maybe I need sugar. And I think that works. It kind of just dulls the... I still may go down, but it's not. And... You know, it could be your whole body just doesn't feel right. It could be hours, it could be a couple of days before you're ready back at your old self. And if you've had a couple, it just kind of gets compounded. I think the longest I've ever had is like three days of... I just want to sleep. It's my sleep. Oh, and I go off to sleep. But, you know, I would really like to hear at Michael, or sorry, Mike's Diabetes World dot at Shaw dot CA and tell me your stories about when you're low, when you're how you respond. So, a lot of times, if I'm in the hospital, <clears throat> they'll give me some sort of painkiller if I'm having a bad migraine. And that just knocks me out. Even if, what is it, Tylenol 3, if you've had a bad back or whatever, painkiller, that puts me to sleep for about half an hour. So, let your doctor know these things. Maybe there's more of a solution. But I'm lucky now I've grown out of it. And my body is, you know, oh, it's a migraine, oh. Now it's kind of like, Mike, you have to sleep. Sorry, I fall asleep and I don't know, sometimes if I have it early in the morning by 10, 11, I'm ready to go. But take care of yourself. Learn how to treat. Learn your signs of being low. Now, you know, they say, oh, you're going to sweat. You're going to get heart palpitations. You don't necessarily get all of them. But you need to know what causes your low. So you can treat it early, so you don't end up with a migraine. You don't end up just being zonked all day. Anyway, have a super day. Bye now. Hey, if you want to email me stories, tips, whatever, down below in the description is my email. Talk to you later. Bye.